this is Nate uh, from Royal Gold. We're here today to make a little fertilizer tea with the Crown Jewels Grow. So we've got our standard five gallon little compost tea bucket set up here. One thing you might notice about the bag is this is not the standard uh, compost tea bag. The, the mesh on that's just way too big. It's great for holding compost, but it doesn't work well for holding micronized ingredients like the crown jewels grow and bloom. So we're going to use this instead to make our tea. Uh, today we want to get our tea started for some of the vegetable starts that Michael's been showing you over the last couple weeks. And since they're still pretty little in, in their, their small cells, we're just going to use about a half, half cup of the crown jewels grow. Just go ahead and dump that in there. Also just to kind of make things be a little bit more active. I'm gonna stick just one tablespoon of some molasses in there. And just to help everything get all nice and watered in, I'm also gonna add just a, a little bit of yucca. It's like a half tablespoon to a tablespoon is usually pretty good for a five gallon bucket. All right, so we got everything in there. We'll close this up. Stick the snake in. And grab our lid here. Okay. Close that up, get that started, and uh, we'll check back in with this tomorrow. So we're back just about 24 hours later since our tea got started yesterday. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off here. All right, so. I'm gonna set this off to the side. If you don't already, it's definitely a good practice to make sure that anything you put in your fertilizer compost tea buckets are cleaned well afterwards just to prevent any sort of bacterial or fungal issues. Gonna take out our bubble bag here with our fertilizer tea. So these teas aren't gonna get all the nutrients out, so the remainder that's back in the bag here, this is great stuff for outdoor potted plants, compost pile, anything that needs just a little bit of fertility. This stuff will start breaking down pretty quick once you put it in there. So just like with anything, we wanna give our pH a check. So we should also give our EC a quick check. We've got a little blue lab pulse meter here. And if you remember yesterday, we put a half cup in our five gallons along with that little bit of molasses and the yucca and our EC's coming out right around just one. So perfect for little, little seedlings. If uh, you got some bigger, faster growing plants, definitely go ahead and use more than that. But this is perfect for what we're doing today. All right, so give all these guys a little bit of, little tea, little bit of tea. Make sure they stay happy and healthy. Looks like they're starting to just get a little yellow. In need of a little fertilizer. All right, so thanks for checking in. Uh, we'll see you guys next time.